I got into the base purely by faith, I would call it. We want to call it luck, call it luck. And I believe that I was meant to be there somehow. Everything, every other door I knocked was closed and suddenly this door opened and I found myself there. And up until today, I don't know how. It really worked out this way. And then I met Mukhtar. And Mukhtar said, if you want my approval, if you want to film with me and you want to film here, you have to get the, lead, the permission of my leader. So I went to his leader and the leader led to another leader, led to another leader, led to another leader. And the top of the ladder was Maulay Mansour. And when he said, yes, film with Mukhtar, I was like, can I film with you too? He wasn't even back then the head of the Air Forces. Right. He was just coming from Badakhshan, being known only to the Taliban, never having a cameraman filming him. So for him, this was like, I'm, 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 I'm going to be the big boss. And he was like, I'm going to be, I'm going to get a position. So he was happy that there's someone filming, um, filming that. Um, did I answer your question? Yeah. There was something else in the question. No, did you have so to continue sure. to... Uh, the thing is, whenever I got the access, I would not directly film. I tried to stay with them as much as possible, holding the camera. They have never seen me without the camera. So even I'm going to her for lunch, no, no shooting, we're just going for lunch. I would take the camera with me and I'm walking around the whole time holding the camera. So it becomes part of who I am. This guy is the guy that's walking with the camera. And by the time they relax and they forget about me and that I'm shooting, I start shooting. So when I, like the first day of shooting, are you shooting? No. Are you shooting? No. Are you shooting? No. Maybe th the first three or four days, even I didn't switch on the camera at all. He said, okay, film now. I was like, no, no I'm, not I'm just watching first to understand what's mm. happening. And then I would film when they would forget about me present because there are so many people just right. staring at me the whole time. And is your camera light on? Do they know when it's rolling? Never light. Okay. <laughs> of course not. Uh, there's a question over here and then Let's go here. So, and, how much and also, no, no big boom. It was right. only just the, the mic on the, the, mic the, on the camera and, and neck mics that was given to them early in the morning. How many hours of footage did you require over, over the course of the year? The question was, how many hours did you end up shooting? We, I had around 220 hours of, of shooting. That was filmed within seven months over the course of one year. Wow. Uh, question. Uh, they have to be relatively quick, so here and then there, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, after the theatrical screening, what other platform uh, would this be available? The question, I've broken the microphone. Lemley's going to come after me now. Uh, we're, the question was, we, we after know, theatrical, we what happens? We will know things about that soon. But if you've got a distribution or streaming platform, come up and talk. Yeah, I mean, I think all I'll say is we're independently basically distributing this film, and, you know, this is... This is the state of the industry right now, right? These very, you know, high profile, um, tough political films are having trouble finding homes. And this is certainly one of them. And we are in an election year. So I right. would just say that. Yeah. Uh, one last question. Who? Go ahead, if you don't mind. The, uh, you said that they didn't know when you were shooting. So what was the positioning of the camera when you were and were not shooting so they never really saw the same thing? The question was, did you change your position behind the lens to let to tip them off when you were or were not shooting? I was always ch changing my position without filming. Uh -huh. So I would put the camera like this and put it like this. And when I'm talking to someone, I would be like this. And, and then one guy even asked me, why are you holding it up the whole time without filming? I said, I'm training my muscles. So when I hold it in the <laughs> shot, it's strong. Very good answer. Uh, I want to say one last thing, and that is, I think if you are sticking around for a couple minutes, you'll be out in the lobby. Also, you know, as Diane said, it's a tough time for movies like this. So if you like the movie, recommend it to your friends. Uh, this is a movie that lives and dies on word of mouth. And I think it's important, even out of an election year, that people see this film. So I want to thank you all for coming out. And I really want to thank Ibrahim and Diane for making this movie. Thank you so much. Thank you all.